I don't mean to brag, but uh, I've tackled a lot of art challenges in my day. I do mean to brag. I I actually intend solely to brag. Creating art with a blindfold on, drawing while singing, creating art with makeup or white out or highlighters, the list goes on. But in all those challenges, I never feel quite challenged enough. Except for the etch sketch challenge. But we don't talk about that. There is, however, one thing that consistently challenges me, and that is my toddler. So today, he's gonna help me create some art. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and today I'm going to be doing the scribble challenge with the help of my son. I sat down with my son and got him to create a variety of scribble options. Do you want to come draw a picture with daddy? Yay! Okay! <laughs> do you want to do another one? Ready? Do a big one! Well, this this one was, was a, a team effort. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> what do you want daddy to draw? Ducks? Okay. Duck. I drew the duck. Are all done? No. No. Oh, no, it's not done. He's not finished yet. <laughs> I have a vision. Can I have a high five? <laughs> oh. Ah! Big high five, one more high five. <laughs> so using this variety of scribbles he has provided me as options, I'm going to choose one that I feel will uh, most easily translate into artwork. Now I'm liking this one, uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'll turn it into, but let's, uh, let's keep going. This one's pretty good, it's got like a nice form here, it flows well. So uh, I've got nothing yet, to be honest, they're all going to be quite challenging. Oh, this is very loopy. I'm looking for a consistency of page coverage so that, that you know, it provides enough of a challenge and that the image can sort of be a, a good mix of his scribble and, and my uh, engineering. So far these are my three favourites. It's just sort of a process of elimination to see what I can do something with. I really like that this has a mix of like some organic flowing lines and just a few random dots. These are a bit bitsy in that there are these areas of um, shall we say, stippling. <laughs> Turns out when he's drawing, he really likes stippling. Oh, ducks. Oh. oh. Gentle. <laughs> there goes your marker. Yep. <laughs> this is what it used to look like, by the way, just for reference. If only you knew the things I've seen, man. The world's a dark, dark place. Keep it to yourself, pops. Kids these days, am I right? So I'm going to go with this piece and uh, I got him to create his scribble in Sharpie so that I could play around the scribble in pencil and give and take and erase and add until I find something that feels really complete. So that is today's art challenge. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first part of the process, I spent about 15 minutes rotating the paper on different angles and kind of squinting it and turning my head a little bit until I could figure out a few different options or ways I could use the picture. I really wanted to ideally make something that would essentially use my son's scribble and turn it into something that he might end up loving. In the end, when I rotated it up this way, I started to see the idea of ropes swinging and dangling around. And then in the mishmash of ropes in the top right corner, I saw sort of something being held or wrapped up. Using that as my foundation, I decided to draw Curious George, which is frankly perfect because it is his favorite cartoon show. He watches it every day so much that uh, we've seen every episode multiple times. So when I realized I could make this a Curious George picture, I just was so excited to make it. I thought I'd have George swinging forward and dangling off of the long length of the rope and you can see the little dots at the end of that line come together to sort of make up his feet curled around the rope. In the background is the man with the yellow hat who my son calls Dada. He calls every sort of father figure in cartoons Dada because it's like he's the monkey's Dada but I like to think that I'm the Dada and he's my little monkey. Oh my goodness this video is so corny I can hardly even. Anyways I thought I'd have the man with the yellow hat dangling upside down and wrapped around in ropes with a bit of a whimsical sort of shrugging expression as if to say gosh darn George how do we get into these little tangles? And with those two 
two figures placed in and making sense of the scribble, all of a sudden I was ready to make sense of the whole piece and uh, build it up from there. Though the scribble itself was done with a sharpie which doesn't really have any line weight variation, I went forward with the line work using my Copic brush pen. This gives me more control over the line weight and it's cool because not only can I create some interesting and dynamic appealing looking lines, but it also somewhat replicates the style of the cartoons in the TV show, who have that cool thin to thick line style throughout. Curious George's line work was fairly heavy, just to solidify him in the foreground, and the man with the yellow hat was done with a 0.5 fine liner. So still quite thick for a fine liner, but without the line weight variation and something a little more subtle so our attention can be on the foreground. As you can see, a majority of the squiggles that were in that corner direction are now entangled around and holding together the man in the yellow hat as he hangs upside down from a tree. And to bring all of these squiggles and ropes together, I dangle a few other ropes around and from the tree further in the background. Now that I have everything on the paper that can make total sense of all of those scribbles, it's time to add a few garnishes that essentially distract from the fact that the scribbles were ever there. Things like adding leaves in the direction that George is swinging to help create a sense of motion and excitement, some bushes with some thicker line work in the foreground to make it look like they're leaping out of somewhere, and a tree canopy in the background to help frame the image. I also went back to my Sharpie and added a thicker line along the bottom edges of the tree and scribbled along to add some shadow. This essentially helped to make sense of that scribbly area between his legs which was already there and now looked like it was always intentional. With all that done, all I have to do is erase my construction lines and pencil work and I have my line work complete. Okay, so I finished the line work to my piece. Now, I personally really love the way that this has turned out, especially given that it took me some time to even see how I could make anything out of it. But before I'm allowed to move on to colour, I should probably see if I, if I get approval from... Uh, the toddler who started me off. I'll be back in a sec. Dad, did you your picture? Look! Look at that! Look at that! Who's that? It's a monkey. And who is that? Dada. Is that Dada? What do you think? Monkey! The monkey! That's right! Yeah. Do you want to go watch the monkey? Hey. Yeah. Say thank you, Dada. Thank you, Dada. <laughs> okay, bye bye. I feel like that counts enough as approval. He knew it was Curious George and knew that it was the man in the yellow hat from the show. So uh, I feel like now it's time to, to bring it all together with some color. Once again, mimicking that Curious George art style, I went with some really nice lively colors and a very soft gradiented form of shading. Basically this entailed putting down a base tone in Copic markers in a medium tone and then putting a slightly darker edge around the uh, usually back right area of the character and then going back to my original light or mid-tone and blending that in to create a really nice, soft, cartoony look. This process, repeated with the skin tones and the various other colours and shades throughout the image, creates that really soft and appealing, solid colour style. I find that even when I'm filling in flat colours, it works really well to go over about two to three times until there's a really clean, solid tone of colour. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the finished result of my toddler scribble challenge. It's way cooler than I expected it would turn out, especially because it took me so long to even think of something it could become. And the fact that not only it became something, but it became something that I know my son loves is, is really nice. And a direction I didn't even think I'd be able to go in. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the result of this scribble challenge. Make sure to like this video if you think I succeeded in the challenge, if you enjoyed yourself. And of course, leave your suggestions in the comments section for other challenge ideas, because I love really trying new ways to to, uh, overcome obstacles and, and surprise myself and hopefully you in the process. Make sure to subscribe to Drawing Jazza if you haven't so you can join us three videos a week where we have fun with art. I guess the last thing left to do is to give this piece to its rightful owner. Hey Papa, Daddy made your picture. 
monkey. It's a monkey. That's a monkey too. Dada. It's Dada and the monkey. Hey monkey, are you enjoying your pie? <laughs> Say bye bye. Dada. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.